Zara Larson makes seven figure on Roblox. Know how? Pop star Zara Larson says she's made a seven figure aggregate by selling merchandise on the computer gaming platform Roblox. The Swedish star, known for hits like Lush Life and Symphony, offer fans in game things like caps, rucksacks, and shades to spruce up their avatars. With costs beginning at just under one pound, Larson says it's cracking crazy to have acquired more than $1 million since joining the Roblox platform only in May. My jaw dropped when I heard, the star said in an interview. As guardians all over the planet will know, Roblox isn't just a game, but it's a gaming universe. Once logged in, users, a majority of whom are children, can engross themselves in a wide variety of interesting, custom games. Although the majority of games are absolutely free to play, some users also pay virtual money called Robux to spruce up their avatars or improve their levels and regularly utilize the game as a spot to spend time with companions, especially during the pandemic. However, it isn't without its faults. There have been worries over youngsters being introduced to violence and other adult content, albeit the organization has severe standards against adult material, and as of late has even presented an aid check framework. The in-game commercial center can also be a cause of worry for our guardians, with recorded instances of youngsters burning through a huge number of pounds on in-game products. Larson initially collaborated with Roblox to advance her new collection, Poster Girl, when her shows were dropped during the pandemic. She facilitated a virtual dance party inside the game in May, permitting fans to hang out, watch her perform, and also partake in a web-based treasure hunt. The users could also purchase outfits, hairdos, dance moves, and a customizable Zara Larson symbol. Costs began at 60 Robux, which is roughly 67 pence, ascending to 400 Robux, or 4.95 pounds, for the star's avatar. The product was at first an untimely idea, as stated by Zara herself. I didn't actually contemplate it. It wasn't actually the inspiration for the show. I simply needed to interact with the fans. Obviously, she has different opinions now. The past few years have seen Larson becoming progressively vocal with her perceptions on different artists and industry stalwarts with whom she's worked. While she has high recognition for entertainers, for example, Beyonce, she's equivalent in her for Dr. Luke and Chris Brown. This kind of vocal activism has also contributed in a large way towards her popularity, which she's using to cash in on the Roblox platform. In June of 2015, she came to the spotlight in her own country for straightforwardly addressing whether the Bravala Festival had any sexual orientation point of view at all, as its advancement and execution lineup were exceptionally overwhelmed by male artists. She also raised a question asking why she wasn't introduced among the principal acts in spite of her being the most well-known streamer on Spotify. That very day, Swedish vocalist Gunther wrote on her Facebook profile condemning Larson. You are one of numerous adolescent chicks who are world renowned in Sweden and maximally advertised, however, don't have any rehits, just a ton of fuss. During her act at the event, she countered back, saying, Screw Gunther, screw all lady skeptics. This prompted the hashtag, hashtag Bakazara, to be created and advocated via web based media stages, where a huge number of individuals, including some well known Swedish artists, showed their backing for Larson. In 2015, Larson got to plan and host a late spring discourse to be communicated on Sverviz Radio as one of 58 famous people that year. The 48-minute discourse was communicated in real time on the P1 channel. Her age at that point, 17, made her the youngest such speaker till then, outperforming Robin and Gina Durari at 20 years old. In the discourse, she discussed her life, her music profession, her feminine perspectives, and even pretty much every last bit of her sentiments. In 2017, Larson launched an H&M collection, including various pieces of clothing and embellishments. She was associated with the styling by setting on choices about colors and fitting. In keeping up with her feminist spirit, pink was the normal tone all through the collection. In October of 2019, Larson stood in opposition to Demi Lovato's position on the Israeli-Palestinian clash via social media. Lovato remarked on an Instagram post that they don't, quote, have an assessment and won't pick a side according to the issue. Larson subtweeted saying that in the event, you couldn't care less, you are a piece of the harsh side. She later added on that it was anything but a post coordinated distinctly to Lovato, yet rather to everyone individuals who believe their choice to be silent in these times of repression is anything except honor. In May of 2021, Larson posted a picture of her text on Instagram where she censored Israel for killing regular citizens and maintaining politically sanctioned racial segregation, and communicated the significance of remaining against the discrimination of Jews. Truth be told, Larson says in-game shows and virtual products could be a lifesaver for artists when CD deals have nearly dried up, visiting is dubious, and streaming services aren't paying the creator reasonably. We as a whole know this, she says. Real-time features don't pay the most. 
To make a seven figure aggregate from YouTube or Spotify would take a long, long time and hundreds of millions of streams, she notices. However, the fascination isn't exclusively monetary. Larson's Roblox show drew in more than 1.6 million users, who made multiple million visits to a pink, Swedish lake house themed world. A significant number of those are fans who couldn't go to a show setting or manage the cost of a show pass. Some even heard Larson's music interestingly. A lot of youngsters are arriving on my social media saying, wow, it's the Roblox young lady. She laughed about it. With the COP26 environment levels being recorded highest this week, she's additionally mindful that her virtual shows could significantly decrease her carbon footprint. Envision what number of flights it could take to contact 4 million individuals, or then again, what number of trucks it would take to carry a pink lake house with me all over the place. And afterwards, having two or three hundred individuals who would also need convenience and food and someplace to rest. Going internet-based saves a great amount in fossil fuel byproducts, Zara exclaimed. The music business expects that live streams and virtual shows will keep being a winner, even after pandemic-related limitations are lifted and full-scale attendance is started. Fortnite and Minecraft have also led effective examinations with in-game gigs, highlighting significant stars like Travis Scott, Ariana Grande, and Charlie XCS. We have nearly 50 million users on the platform consistently, and when the penny drops, that fans are hanging out for a few hours every day in the metaverse, I think we'll see a blast of specialists going along with it," says Roblox's worldwide head of music, Jonathan Valpus. We're not restricted by gravity and space, so we can assemble mysterious universes and all the more loyal fan bases. Yet, undoubtedly, an in-game show can never repeat the instinctive sensation of playing to 500 fans, all packed together in a sweat-soaked club. But Zara has other thoughts. Obviously, according to my viewpoint, we can hold shows again, says Larson. Still, till that time, it's a lovely method of having a passionate association with fans. Later in my show, I meandered all over the platform and users wanted to take a selfie with my in-game avatar. I didn't get it from the beginning. However, at that point, they just put their avatar truly near mine and took a screen capture and that's the selfie. Furthermore, better believe it, it could be difficult for my age to comprehend, yet for individuals who carry on with their lives on the web and are being social on the web, it implies as much to them as meeting me in the city. It truly made me contemplate what visiting could resemble later on. Looks like Zara Larson has made both money and fame with her Roblox stint.